This is Candy Apple TV. In today's Candy Apple tutorial, I will be showing you how I ship my Candy Apple bows. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, 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 hey. First, you need to know how to make your Candy Apple bows, whether you call them Candy Apple bows, treat bows, dessert bows, or just bows. They are your bows. I truly hope each and every one of my subscribers and viewers catch on to making these candy apple bows. If you feel like you need a one-on-one -on -one session making these candy apple bows, dessert bows, or treat bows, please comment down below. Please do that now. This way, you can have an extra stream of income by starting your own bow business. You can call it the candy apple bows. <laughs> you can call it the treat bows, the sweet treat bows, dessert bows, whatever you want to call your business. I think it's important um, to have an extra stream of income nowadays. So if you want to start your own candy apple bow business, but you have not caught on yet to making these treat bows, make sure you comment down below by just saying, yes. I have been getting messages from some of my viewers stating they have not caught on. One of the reasons you are not able to complete your treat bow is because you did not leave enough tail hanging. So make sure you have enough tail. And another thing is the knot. When you take the candy apple bows off your fingertips, the candy apple bow knot comes loose, your candy apple bow unravels. That's because right here, at this point right here, when you tighten up that bow, you may have to yank it a couple of times and then take it off your fingertips. That's what I do. So when you see me yanking the ribbon for my candy apple bows when I'm making that knot, I am making sure that knot is secured so it doesn't unravel. I am cutting the tips off of my candy apple bow, burning the tips so the bow doesn't unravel. This seals the ribbon from unraveling. I am going to make a couple of more candy apple bows so you can learn how to make candy apple bows to start your own candy apple bow business. This tail is too short, so I am going to have to start over. Don't try to continue to make a bow if that tail is too short. Now I am starting over to make my candy apple bow, so just watch.
If your ribbon is falling off of your fingertips, please slide the ribbon back on your fingertips. Do not continue to make your candy apple bow with the ribbon sliding off your fingertips. It's not going to work. If you watch closely, watch me yank this ribbon and you'll see this knot tighten up. Just watch. I have to yank it. You see that tighten? Just fluffing out my bow. I am using double sided tape. It's convenient. I like using it, but you can also use scotch tape. So it will come down to your preference. Now, I like both, there's pros and cons to both. Again, this is double-sided tape. You can use regular tape, double-sided tape. Like I said, I like to use double-sided tape because it's just so much easier for me. So this is how I do my bows and this is how I package my bows. Make sure you press down. So when the customer gets the bows, they're going to get some cute bows. You know, they paid their money worth. Remember, quality is everything. Stick the tape on the back of the bow. There's no way I do. I just stick it on the back, as you can see. Candy apple bows are ready to be mailed and shipped. I put the gift box lid on the top and I slide it inside an envelope. You have a few options when it comes to shipping and mailing. This is how I do mine. I, I only use flat rate because whatever you can stuff in these envelopes, this one the plastic one um this one is 965 so you can stuff probably two boxes or you can stuff you know a bigger box with 24 bows probably as long as you can stuff it in the envelope you're only going to pay that one flat rate in here where i'm at um this one is nine what I say this one is 965 and if you're going to use if you're going to use the flat rate um, cardboard envelope this one is cheaper it's 895 let's see the flexibility is not that great but as long as it can go in and shut and see this is not going to go in and shut my preference i always use this one regardless please comment down below if you plan on starting your own candy apple business if you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial please make sure you stay tuned to watch my next videos coming up right here on candy apple tv i'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video